Hello, my friends. It's me again. Your favorite dental wear. Hope everybody's doing okay today. I hope you noticed that. Uh, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I have my new glasses finally. And we're going to go out here in the yard. And we're going to give these glasses an opportunity to turn dark. They're supposed to turn dark in the sun. So we're going to see if they turn dark in the sun. I'm going to sit right here in this chair. Right here in the yard. And we're going to see if they turn dark in the sun. Now the doctor did tell me that I should put them out in the sun. Let them get as dark as they're going to get. And leave them out in the sun in bright sunlight for an hour or so. And then take them in and put them in the freezer. He said he doesn't understand the concept behind that, but for some reason the lab says that when they darken the lenses the first time, that locks in how dark they're going to get, and they put them in in you know in cold, and that makes them go transition back to light faster for some reason, back to uh, clear. So he said I need to do that a couple of times, and that'll lock in the the speed of how fast they turn dark and how fast they turn light when I go inside and stuff. But for now, I just want to see if they're actually going to turn dark in the sun. Um, I stepped out on the porch last night. When my brother got home, I stepped out on the porch. And they got, you know, a little gray. They didn't really get black. I don't know how dark they're supposed to get. But the funny thing is, if you see the, if you look at these, these are really small glasses. I went in looking for glasses and... I was looking through the men's section, you know, trying on different glasses, and they were huge. I mean, they were this big, and they stuck way out here, and stuff like that. And and the uh, lady comes over there, and she goes, can I help you? And I said, yeah, I'm just trying to find a set of frames that helps, you know. This was weeks ago when I first, you know, when I first told you all I was getting glasses. Now, I've talked about how small my mouth is. <laughs> They had to use child size trays when they did my impressions. And I've showed you on video how small my mouth is with the children's trays that I have that I put in my mouth and they fit perfectly. Well, that goes along with how small my head is. Um, if I wear a motorcycle helmet, I have to wear a small motorcycle helmet. Or I have to buy my helmet in the children's section. I have a very small head. I know I don't look like I have a small head, but I have a very small head. Now I'm thinking my glasses are dark. I really I can't see them, but I'm thinking they're dark. So we're going to go inside and see if they'll lighten back up again. <laughs> we're doing a test today, because you know I want to know. And I figured instead of doing this on my own, I'd throw you all in on the camera with me. We'll just test them together. So anyway, I was looking at the frames and stuff, and I noticed how big all these glasses are. I mean, they're huge. You know, glasses are generally, for me, glasses are huge. Oh yeah, they're dark. I can tell now because I walked in the house and it's kind of shadowy, kind of dark. Anyway, glasses on my face are huge. They're ginormous. So the lady comes over there and she was like, can I help you? And I said, yeah, I'm just trying to find a pair that will actually fit my face. I don't want them sticking clear out here and I don't want them being this damn big. And she says, well, uh, and she, she says, hold on a minute. What, what style do you like? And I pointed at this style, but they were, you know, they, they were like this big. They came all the way down here. I said, these are just too big. I don't want to have a bifocal clear down here where I gotta tip my head back like this all the way to see what I'm doing, you know? And she was like, okay. So she walks away for a few minutes and she comes back with these. And I go, wow, those are, you know, those actually fit. They fit my head, they're comfortable, they're not, you know, they don't look like bug eyes on my face and everything else, and those are nice. And she goes, yeah, I got those from the children's section. And I said, well, yeah, I kind of have a small head. People don't realize how small my head is. 
I have a small mouth, I have a small head, that all goes together. But it's in proportion. It's not out of proportion. But I'm six foot tall with a tiny head. I think that's funny. And a tiny mouth. Um, and that's probably one of the reasons I've had headaches all my life. Doctors could never figure out why I've had headaches all my life. And it's because my skull quit growing, but my brain didn't. Um, so, you know, I've dealt with headaches all my life. All my life I've had headaches. You ask anybody that knows me, I've had headaches. You know, I, I don't... You learn to live with them. Um, you just learn to live with them after a while. It just gets to the point where you're like, okay, I'm tired of taking aspirin all the time, every day, because my head's pounding. And you just learn to live with them. And doctors could never figure out why I was having headaches, but yet they never did a CT scan or an x-ray on my head to see if my brain was compressing or anything. Um, now once I got my teeth out, my headaches subsided quite a bit. I still have headaches every day, but not near as bad. I mean, the compounding of the, the bad teeth and the, and the toothaches and the, and the already existing headaches every day and things like that, that compounding pain really made my head throb every day. Now, I don't know if these glasses have lightened up yet or not. Apparently they have. So, <laughs> it was funny. We, we picked out the frames and everything else, and I told you, these glasses, these were supposed to be the transitions, remember? And they just made these because I wanted transitions for, you know, like riding a bike and stuff like that. And they just tinted them. These were supposed to just be clear with bifocals for use in the house and stuff. And so since they screwed up on those, they went ahead and made these transitions instead. And that's fine because now I don't even have to put on sunglasses. So that's awesome. And because they're not polarized, when I'm outside in the sun, I should be able to see my phone. Because they're not polarized. But it's funny because when I went in and, uh, um, and had him do the uh, adjustments on the bows and stuff like that, you know, they adjusted the bows to fit my ears and everything else, he says, you might have to trim your eyelashes. And I said, well, I do all the time. I trim them all the time. He goes, no, 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 not your eyebrows, your eyelashes. I said, what do you mean? He goes, well, unless you want to clean your glasses every five minutes, you might want to trim your eyelashes. He said, your eyelashes are so long, they're rubbing the lenses when you blink. And I said, really? He says, women would kill to have eyelashes that long. They go clear up into your eyebrows. I said, well, I've never noticed. And he goes, well, that's because they're blonde and you can't see them. He says, but I can see them. I'm looking right at you. And every time you blink, your eyelashes bend against the lens like that. He says, you're going to be cleaning your glasses an awful lot if you don't trim them. I said, well, how do I trim them? He says, close one eye, take a pair of scissors and just snip them off. So I did, and yesterday when I was wearing my glasses, I noticed I was always getting smudges on my glasses and I kept thinking I was touching them. I wasn't touching them. It was my eyelashes rubbing against the lenses. <laughs> so I trimmed my eyelashes this morning, but when he told me women would kill to have eyelashes that long, I just busted up laughing. I thought that was funny. But anyway, uh, yeah, so with my, with my bad teeth and everything else, compounding on top of my headaches and knowing that I have a small head you know and I've always known that because when I was riding my motorbike down in Florida I had to have a helmet and because Florida has a helmet law and I would go in looking for a helmet and a small in a a, a small would fit um, somewhat it depended on the helmet. If it was a full face helmet, it didn't fit at all. If it was a half shell, where you have an open face on it, and you just wear glasses, those fit fine. So both my helmets, well, all three of my helmets right now are smalls, and they fit perfectly. So I've always known that I had a small head, although you can't really tell. But my mouth is extremely small too, because it goes along with having a small head. 
Could you imagine having a head this size and having a giant mouth? <laughs> Everything works in proportion. Everything's proportionately fine. Small head, small eyes, small mouth, small nose, small ears. But you couldn't tell just by looking at me and talking to me. But I know it. When I have to go buy children's glasses so that they fit my head properly, and I have to buy the smallest helmet they make to fit my head properly, and when I wear a hat, see, this on this setting is way too big. I would have to have it all the way up here on these last two clicks to fit my head. Very small. I can't buy a one-size-fits-all hat. And people don't realize that, you know, sometimes we struggle in life with things that we never talk about. Like the size of my head and my mouth. I usually never talk about that, but it's been a struggle my entire life. I can't just go buy a cowboy hat. I have to have a cowboy hat made to fit my head. I can't just go buy a leather hat, you know, uh, um, and if I do, I've got to put paper towels all around the inside of the band, you know, tuck them inside the band to size it to fit my head, things like that. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, and we all have things that we have to deal with like that. Now my hands, on the other hand, are extremely large. I, it's hard to find gloves that fit my hands. And my arms are extremely long. I buy an extra, extra large shirt to be able to fit my arms. A double XL just so the length of the sleeves fit my arms. And I'm not that big in the body area. So they, it looks like I'm wearing a, a sack when I have a double XL on. Looks like I'm wearing a sack. But the arms fit at least. My jacket is a double XL and it fits okay. It's just things that we have to deal with. My feet, on the other hand, are extremely small. I wear a size 9. A size 9 at 6 foot tall. Most 6 foot people are wearing like 11s or 12s. I wear a 9. So, some parts of me are huge. Some parts of me are small. <laughs> That's just the way it is. And then... When I say we're all different, especially when it comes to our dentures, I mean that because nobody's mouth is the same as someone else's. Everybody's mouth is different. Everybody's bite will be a little different. The shape of your mouth is different. The size of your mouth is different. The height of your top gums is different. The ridge on the bottom is different. Your tongue will be different. Everybody's mouths are different. You couldn't wear my dentures. I couldn't wear yours. Your mouth is like your fingerprint. It's unique to you. And that's just the way it is. So anyway, I just wanted to show off my new glasses. I'm trying to get used to them. Uh, my brother said when he got his, he messed with them constantly for you know, however long to try to get them comfortable. And I think I pretty much got mine already. Uh, the nose pieces feel a little weird. I'm used to having a solid bridge nose, you know, like on sunglasses and such. I'm not used to having these little, these little pads, these little nose pads. I'm not used to those. Um, so it'll take some getting used to. But, hey, if they turn dark in the sun and they turn light in the in, inside and I can see my phone... And by golly, the bifocals work perfectly. I can see my phone just beautifully. Let's run over here to the comments. Oh, yeah, beautifully. I can see my phone. I don't have to take my glasses off now and put on a pair of readers. I don't have to take my sunglasses off outside and put on a pair of readers or put my sunglasses on my head and put on a pair of readers and look like a dork. Um, so, got my glasses. Finally. It only took three weeks. <laughs> I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I'll see you in my next video. And remember, we're all different. There's no two of us that are the same. 
keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.